How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and welcome to the first video in a brand new series, Beginner's Guide to Farm at Sim. Now, today, we are actually taking a look at how to install mods here on your consoles. Yes, this is going to be a console primarily focused mini series here that we've got. Well, I say mini series, it's probably going to end up being quite a few. I've already got about 10 or 15 different videos that I want to put out. And today, I thought was going to be the best one to do would be taking a look at how to install mods here in the game. Now, you may be a brand new player, or you may be playing for a couple of weeks, and you've decided that you want to try and reach out. You've heard about these things called mods. Yes, guys, there's almost 4,000 mods for a console available right now. So let me go ahead and show you from the main menu how you're going to do that. As you can see, we are on the main menu right here, and normally you would just go straight into career mode, right? But what we want to do is go down here to downloadable content. This is the in-game mod hub, if you ever hear about that. And here you've got a bunch of different options that you could do. This is all of your mods that are available right now. Now, this is going to be for PC and for console because I am playing on a PC. But I'm going to show you guys how you could do this for uh, console because all I have to do is show crossplay mods only down there at the bottom. I'm going to hit left. Now, that is going to be only console mods available. All right. Now, I can also come down here start toggling with my r1 now these are the ones that are installed now what these are are dlcs you could buy these from your in-game store right every single one of these are available right now we also have a expansion that's coming out here in november awesome expansion let me tell you guys it's 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 going to change the way that you play the game and so are these other mods that we've got right here now, next, you can see update. So once you get some of these installed, if you need to come back and do an update because the modder has decided, hey, I want to make some changes, that's where you do this at. Next, downloads. These are ones that are pending right now. We'll show you that. DLCs, once again, there are even more available than what I have installed. You can take a look through those. Yes, they do cost. You're going to be able to get them through your store. If you want to get a, quite a few of them, there are bundle packages that you can get as well. Next, extra content. This is some other code things that we put in here. I really like that first one, the horse farming hero suit. It's great, guys. Absolutely great. But you get a lot of these things with some of the other DLCs that you're going to get. Next is best. Now, these are the ones that are rated the best. As you can see, this thing right here is rated at a five star. Now, this is an old pigsty. So just go ahead and look through here if you can't find some other ones. And maybe this will get you some inspiration on new mods to try. Next, most downloaded most downloaded i'm sorry these are the ones that are the top downloaded mods all right the number one most downloaded mod right now is government subsidy and guys trust me you're going to want to get this because that's how you're going to be able to cheat in money into your game got a lot of other great ones here as well i'm not going to spend any time on these got a lot of other videos looking at quite a few of these mods already next latest these are the new ones got something that came out yesterday you want to know what it is well, here you go. Right now, we've got Alma, Missouri. We've got some other equipment. We've got tractors. you got buildings. All kinds of really, really cool stuff right here. This is where you're primarily going to go at if you're looking for something brand new that you want to check out uh, and just maybe add it into your game real quick, see what it is, and then, you know, if you like it, keep it. If not, you can uninstall it. The next one down here is recommended. Now, based on other ones that you've used, these are ones for you. Now, for some reason, I got a bunch of buildings in here. I don't know why. But the 53 drop deck trailer auto load bales is a great one. Absolutely great one. And easy development controls, that's not for you guys. I'm sorry. Um, console, you're not going to be able to use that. I don't know why that's showing up right now. But what we want to do, going back over here to Mod Hub, the uh, main portion to show all of your mods. So pretty easy. You want to download a map. Say you want Alma, Missouri. All right. Well, what are you going to do? Go ahead and click here. And then go through, read the description, make sure that it's going to fit your farm. The size is 887 megabytes. All right. So now that is kind of big because on consoles, you're only going to have eight gigabytes of space. All right. Eight gigabytes of space is all you're going to have on a console. And this one right here takes up almost 900 megabytes of that. So you're almost at what, 11%, something like that. Just a little bit over. 10% here of your storage space is actually already going to be taken up with the map. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. You can remove maps out of your folder really easily, bring them back in really, really easy. Um, that way, if you want to use the same equipment and just keep jumping around on maps, 
that's what i recommend down at the bottom you can see install back and view screenshots if you want to view these screenshots just a little bit better click on your l3 and then you can actually go r1 and toggle through these get a little bit better view of what is happening right now here on this map or with these mods go ahead and back up now install super easy hit x it's going to be added to your download list okay back out i want to show you the downloads right here if you're going through and you're getting a whole bunch of mods or maybe you got a little bit slower connection you can see that this is going to give you the progress of those mods that are still waiting to be downloaded you'll, you'll see pending and different things like that so let me go ahead and cross here i'll go ahead and get a small tractor let's get the international 1255 1455 xl i'm going to go ahead and install this one also boom it's added to my list i back up come back down here to downloads and now you can see that that one is now pending as soon as the Alma, Missouri map gets done, it's going to start on the International 1255-1455 XL. Now that both of these are installed, let's go ahead and take a look here at our installed. Again, you can see Alma, Missouri is first, and the International 1255-1455 is next. Now, another really cool feature that I want to show you guys is called Search. All right, so I'm going to go and hit Square right here. It's going to bring it up, and let's say that I want to search for, I don't know, TLX, right? We've heard David's mods are really, really good. And by David, I mean 82 Squared Studios. Trust me, guys, if you're a console player, you're going to want to check out his stuff. So once I have whatever phrase that I want to search here, go ahead and hit X, and it's going to come up with all of the stuff with TLX. Yes, there's quite a few things, guys. Quite a few things here for David. Now, you can go anywhere from the 2020 series all the way to the 48-foot tanker. I mean, the 1982 special is really good, too. I recommend getting you the Phoenix series right here. Maybe the tipper trailer to start out with. Um, you're you're gonna want the 22 series truck as well, guys. I mean, just just download all of them. I mean, just all of them. No, I've, David's a great friend of the channel here, so I just wanted to show you that whenever you type in that phrase, that's gonna come up everywhere. All right, everywhere that you find it, it's gonna show up here. So another one that we could do is I don't know. Let's go ahead and do deer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit search again, and and now there's a lot more options, right? I mean, everything John Deere is going to show up here, guys. Tons and tons of stuff. You, you might even get a map every once in a while if John Deere or just Deere is in the description of the the map. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be all equipment. Um, I think down here there is even a Lizard 10 series. Yeah, not sure exactly why that's here. Um, it's a Ford, but it's, it's not perfect. But trust me. You, you're going to want to use that if you're looking for some specific mods or you're just looking for for something you know if you want to build a john deere farm or a case farm or a new holland farm right this is the way you can do it. once you've got all the mods installed what you need to do go ahead and back up to your main home screen right here i'm going to go into career come over here to a brand new game save i, I always like to pick new farmer all right so what we're going to do now is go across until we find alma missouri perfect all right that's the brand new map that we just installed Go ahead and hit uh, start on that. Now you can see these are all of the mods and DLCs that you have selected that you have installed on your machine, your console right now. What I like to do is I like to deselect all and then come back and pick the ones that I want to use. Alma Missouri stays active on there right now because it is the map. That's the one that you need. Now, just as easily, we can actually select all of these mods. Again, go ahead and hit your triangle. Boom, there you go. Now, the, the one thing is once you start selecting some mods, you're not going to be able to, you know, select all. It's only going to let you deselect all, all right? So international right here, I want to go ahead and grab this guy. I'm going to hit square, bring it in. You can see there at the bottom, it says deselect all or deselect, right? I, I cannot select all anymore. So if you want to run all your mods, start right from the front. Um, I recommend not having everything installed if you've got, say, 60, 70 mods, I wouldn't have them all installed on your game because it's going to tend to slow it down just a little bit more. And this way right here, you're, you're limiting the amount of resource that your machine's going to take up. All right. So this is all you need. If this, if this is all you need, then go ahead and just start with this. I'm going to go and hit start now. It's going to start the game. Once you get into the game, the easiest way to find your mods is here from the store. Go ahead and go up to mods and DLCs. As you can see right here, the International 1255-1455 XL. This is the one that we selected. We're going to be able to go right to this. We're not going to have to search for it again. 
it's right here for us we can go ahead and start customizing it any other mods that you have downloaded in here they're all going to be right here now the reason you see alma missouri is because this map comes with a few extra little mods that you can get specific to this map that are not available on any other map and that's how easy it is everybody super simple to get into your in-game mod hub now there also is a website that you can go to i'm going to go ahead and put the link down in the description of this video you can go there if you're away from your machine your console and go ahead and check and see what the mods are now you're not going to be able to download them and put them in to your console here everything on your console has to be done through the in-game mod hub now that you all understand how to install mods and make them active in your game it's time to go and get started on the beginner's guide to farm sim 22. let's go and take a look at how exactly we start farming